All right, all right, all right, all right. Look what I ordered in the mail just for you, YouTube friends. Um, this is the isometric ellipse guide. Um, it's got all these different magical ellipses on it. And in today's uh, show, I'm going to walk through using an ellipse guide to make a perfectly perspectivized wheel or tire. So again, I don't recommend doing this all the time. You want to be able to do it um, freehand, but uh, I know one of those biggest challenges is the perspective. So uh, let's get started and uh, jump right in. So what we're going to do is right here in the middle, uh, I'm just going to start with the biggest ellipse. This is going to be our rear wheel. You'll notice I'm just using pencil too, because we're going to do the full like Prismacolor rendering. We're going to bust out the paint. We're going to do a full render for you here in today's video, boys and girls. So stay tuned. All right. So that's our first ellipse. Now I'm going to make a nice big wide wheel here. So you can see I'm making a second ellipse. And uh, right now it just looks like a Venn diagram, but watch when I connect them, you're gonna see what's happening, okay? All right, so check it out. That's the beginning of my, of my wheel. You seeing it? So I took the two ellipses, there we go. So you can see if we're looking at it from this side and my wheel well is coming over here, you're gonna get that back part of the, uh, the rim lip. So now I'm gonna move it up a little bit. I'm gonna go into the next size down because what I'm doing here is showing some of that um, curvature as the tire bends over to the inside of the rim. And then, yeah, I think that's all I want, just those two. So now what I'm gonna do is move right to my, to my center cap, or to my middle hub. And uh, if you imagine that there's a center line going through here, and we'll go ahead and, where's about center, about there, I'm gonna put a ellipse right through the center so that you can see where it is like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing uh, about right in the middle here. So this is the middle uh, top and bottom to my wheel. Uh oh. All right, well the uh, power literally went out while I was making this video, so I guess I'm done. Uh, okay, yes, um, we lost power, but um, that's okay. Power's back on, everything's good. You may hear some thunder. Uh, let's proceed. So we're talking about putting that um, center hub in right here. So I'm going to put it right in the center and you'll, um, I'll pick one about, you know, just the size that a center cap would normally be. And if you can see it in there, it's going to live right in the middle. I think that that's a little too high. So yes, I messed up. So what? Uh, I'm just going to replace that. So let's do that again. Put it about right in the center. And what we're doing here with this center cap is we're giving us a, a middle of the tire, middle of the rim. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, center line and uh, I'm going to put a guideline real light here. This is where my, we're going to make a, just a simple five point, um, you know, five point kind of rim. So what I'm going to do is from that center cap, I'm going to bring out with a slight curve my spokes like this, right? So if you imagine it has five spokes, it's a really deep dish. Um, you're not going to see them all. And let's imagine that this, uh, you know, center hub is kind of curved or something like that. Maybe there's something, some design going on in there. I'm not really sure where this is going, but I want to represent, um, you know, we're not going to keep this, this line in the end one. Um, oh man, my racers are in need of a, a vacation apparently. But um, what you can see is that these spokes that I'm going to bring out. Maybe they're, they're going to be some pointed ones like this. We're going to bring those out like that. And then you'll be able to see the dish in the background. And now what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'm not going real strong on this because uh, what we're going to do is with the markers and the chalk, we're going to bring out a lot of those details. Actually, maybe what we do want to do, that's not totally blowing my mind. So why don't we add another another set like this and uh, it can look kind of like a fearsome claw looking sunburst kind of thing. Um, what we're going to do now is put the, uh, the brake, the uh, drums in there, the brakes. So you'll be able to see uh, just a hint of those as they go in the background there behind those. Um, so from there, we've got the basic shape. I'm going to kind of erase a lot of it because I'm just looking for the perspective uh, to, be, to be right. Now what I'm gonna do, um, these are my warm gray markers and 
Warm gray, uh, you know, they're gray, but they have touches of, of brown in it. They're different than uh, cool gray, which has touches of blue in it. So we are gonna focus on warm gray uh, for rendering this tire. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, with my thick, this is a uh, 90%. Just gonna bring out some of the bottom of the tire and bring it up around this way, um, just to get it, just to get that party started. Uh, remember, you can always start a little on the light side, and then um, darken it up as you go. So what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna render the tire with the rim on it, and uh, and we'll we'll go from there. And I'll show you how you can. Maybe we'll make this some kind of open open wheel concept car or something like that. So I'm bringing it up around here. You can see I'm bringing the, uh, bringing the 60% uh, warm gray up around here and just real thin. I don't even know if I'm going to bring it around. I'm just going to hint it there like that. Uh, let's see. Now I've got my 80% you can see what I'm doing here. Now this isn't vellum. This would be a lot smoother on vellum. I'd be doing both sides, but um, I'm just going to kind of be blending these together as we, as we go up. Uh, let's see. Here's a 30%. Now 30% is getting a little warm for me, so I think what I'm going to do, or a little, yeah, a little light. So um, let's see about this one here. Um, I wish I could say I had more of a uh, recommended way to do this based on the exact, uh, you know, gradients of the of the um, the markers, but. But check this out, okay? So we're we're getting there. We've got we don't have any kind of detail or texture in that tire. We're just getting that getting that color down and getting those uh, getting those warm grays. So you can see now. Um, maybe I'll blend this a little bit more. You know, we've got our tire shape. Uh, there's a lack of definition, but that's okay. That's all we need. That's all we need for now. I'm gonna kind of erase a lot of the other stuff in here now that we've got this. Because what I'm gonna do now is a pretty important part. I'm gonna get my um, uh, Prismacolor black uh, felt tip and I'm just going to hint kind of go around the top of the rim like this and I don't want to overdo it this is the part where you can definitely overdo it but I am going to bring out maybe I'm going to make it less um, like sunburst and more like more like arms like that, so you can see I've got some of those coming out, and uh, we do have like a kind of center hub thing there that we're going to put in. Um, then what I'm going to do is get my black colored pencil. So I have a black colored pencil. Let me find it, and we are going to use that for some of these um, additional lines. So don't forget your sharpener, everybody. Very important to have your good pencil sharpener, maybe an electric one. So now I'm gonna bring my um, black uh, colored pencil around like this. And you can see I've got, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing much to it because a, a big part of making the, that tire appear um, flat and a big part of making the rim appear shiny is in leaving a lot of, leaving a lot of white. So I'm purposely, oh, broke my pencil. Man, I'm just, this video is struggling, everybody. I got a power outage. I got breaking pencils. Man, first, first world problems here, everybody. All right, so I'm bringing this around like that. I'm gonna bring up these black lines like this. Now, at this point too, I might bring up just some tread indicators. Mine are, mine are sloppy here, I mean, but we're going to go over it and drown it in marker and chalk and all this other stuff. So uh, for now, I'm just going to outline it like this. And you can see, you know, I'm still running with that definition of the tire and bringing it, bringing it up like that. Okay. So now that I've, I'm pretty secure on those shapes, I'm going to erase even more of this stuff like that you can see you know what? I'm just gonna erase it all getting crazy here so now what I want to do is um, bring in uh, my black again and I'm gonna go ahead and start laying it on a little thicker here and what I'm doing now is if this is chrome I'm doing uh, the horizon line so a lot of the of what you would render chrome 
is just going to be black. And now I'm going to bring back my uh, ellipse guide here and just get a just get a reminder on where that back part of the uh, back part of the rim is. It's right there, like that. So you can see. Um, I'm going to go bring that around. Then I'm going to bring shadows in, so you can see these are going to be shadows under here, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and find a thinner point because that's the um, that's the felt-tipped fine point prisma. Now I have somewhere around here. I have a nice uh, non-felt-tipped. Here it is. This is an old-school prisma with the uh, the fine tip that's kind of like a metal point. Um, mine's seen better days, but I'm going to go ahead and bring out the rest of these details like this. And, uh, you know, again, getting that perspective right, you can make this geometry be whatever you you want it to be um, once you get that initial perspective right. So, all right, so I've got some stuff going on there. Uh, maybe what we will do is just give a little bit of definition to the to the edge of the rim there, like that. Okay, you see what I'm doing? And now I'm gonna bring back around the ellipse guide and maybe we are just gonna do some of these, uh, you know, big juicy treads in here, cause that's awesome. All right, so we got some of those in there. I'll make them a little bit tighter as they get to the edge, like that. All right, so now what I wanna do is uh, get in some chalk in here. And uh, if I'm pretty sure we've got, we've got all of this off, I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh, this is my chalk set, by the way, so I'm gonna use my trusted knife. My mom and dad said it's okay for me to use this, so. I'm gonna get out some black, get out some blue, and get out maybe a little bit of this brown. Let me check my other set, see if I have see if I have some some brown, just a teensy bit. You don't want to overdo it with that. So alright, so I've got that. I'm gonna do a little black here, a little blue there. Look, can you see that? There you go. So I've got my uh, got my chalk dust ready to rock. So let me go ahead and get my trusted Weberl pad and uh, go ahead and tear off a little bit there. Get, get my point. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just get a little bit of black. And then I'm going to bring it down from up top and just kind of smooth it out, lighten it up as I go. And I'm going to go over the whole. The whole rim and just erase what I don't want later. Um, now's a good point too that I'm going to go over back here to my tire. See, see how I did that? Because what we did earlier by putting on the, um, the gray marker as the base now lets us have a nice smooth black chalk effect. <laughs> so I'll clean this all up later but I just want to show you that don't be worried if you go over with your chalk because what we're going to do um, is bring out the eraser to get the chalk off where we don't want it, like that. All right, you with me so far? Are you doing this at home? You drawing this? All right. I've um, got a little bit of tire that I want to bring out up on this side. All right, good enough. Okay, so now I am going to get my blue, and I definitely don't want to overdo this, but I'm just going to put the teensiest of blue here at the bottom and I'm kind of fading it up. So you can imagine the sun is coming down this way and um, you know the blue is reflecting up at the sky. This is reflecting down and uh, some of this brown that I got, maybe I'm going to take it real easy on the brown, but I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that in there and just we can change it later if we're not if we're not liking it. So. If you have to pick, just just you. If you have to pick, or you're feeling like this is too much, don't even bother with blue and brown in here. Just um, just do your black and blacks and grays. Now I've got a uh, another marker in here that I'm going to do 
because it's got a real nice fine point. So I'm going to use this to darken up some of these interior sections and the brake drum and all those guts back there. So you can see these represent the shadows, you know, and up here at the top. Now here, here's some advanced stuff, everybody. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do some of these like squiggles. What I'm doing is, um, this is just at the top, mind you. Uh, what I'm doing up here is we're doing some reflections, right? So this is like reflections of what we're seeing. And I'm also going to bust out the white pencil. Now, later at the very end, we're going to do the um, the really cool white white paint, you know, the gouache marker thing. So we'll get to that. Be patient. But right now, what I'm still doing is using... Um, using warm grays. And then what I'll do in here is go with my thick marker. And sorry, this is not, those are not the cleanest of lines, but just showing you how, to, how I would do it there. I'm gonna bring those all back in, layer it, just continue layering it like that. All right, so now that we've got, um, you know, the bulk of the chrome, uh, I'm gonna bring the white pencil in and I'm gonna whiten up just a little bit of this, the top part of the tire. Same with down here. And if you're really wanting to get detailed and crazy, you can write like, um, you know, the, the tire brand name on here, you know, something like that. Uh, we're not going to do that today because that's just too much. So now I've got my white um, gouache paint and I'm going to mix up a little bit here. And we're going to go ahead and remember, don't overdo it, everybody but we're gonna go ahead and see the light coming down here. So we're gonna get, I'll just show you how I would do it in order. I push real lightly and then I push to get a blob and then I stretch that blob out and add a couple little dots. So I imagine that's the, the top, that's the tire shine. Then I'm gonna add kind of a big section here and bring it down all the way to the bottom like that. And then I'm gonna do this. Oh, great. Okay, power's out again, hold on. Okay, so uh, kind of lost power again there. Uh, clearly this video is not meant to be, but observe the finished product. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some close-ups here. Um, you can see that the, you know, it turned out pretty, pretty sharp. Uh, obviously it was kind of a rush job, but you can see where we've got like the white paint in, some white pencil for the tire brand. And uh, you know, here's one that I did just to practice one from earlier. So uh, you can see it's, Kind of the same thing if you're using the ellipse guide and and this is how you want to how you want to roll at least to practice that perspective and get the feel for it definitely recommend i mean it's going to deliver a pretty perfect um, perspectivized wheel and rim combo um, obviously this is a pretty exaggerated concept very thin lip uh you know uh tire wheel combo so you can do something more more realistic but um, again that's that's just a little bit about the ellipse guide um, and all different sizes and uh, the more that you practice going through the ellipse guide the more that your wrist will get the kind of motion and, and the feel for how it's supposed to how it's supposed to flow in the perspective so uh, that's that's it for today so uh, enjoy that's your uh, ellipse guide tutorial so later